Hello. Welcome to a Speechalo review video. In this video I will be reviewing and showing you how to use Speechalo. Hello and welcome to a Speechalo review video. So this is a software I'm really excited about and I hope you enjoyed that little intro, that little snippet that shows you just how easy uh, and realistic these voices actually sound. So, but I'm not gonna leave you there. I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty of absolutely everything and explain all the features for you in just a second. So Blaster Suite guys have really outdone themselves once again with some really great software that won't, when you combine this with the whole Blaster Suite, um, you know, or more in particular the video marketing Blaster software, you, it's just an unfair advantage. But um, if you want to see more about what I'm talking about, go ahead and click the links in the description for case studies that I've done with all of this software. Uh, however, let's jump in and get dirty with speech level. So you can see we've got two options on the left. Ignore the other three. These are other softwares that I've bought from them. So you, you know, I use their softwares and earn money from their softwares. And you can see you've got voice generator and training. The voice generator is this bit. The training actually opens up um, some video training which is only a two minute 22 second video which I've already watched and it's actually really easy to understand um, there's you, you can't really go wrong with this software there's not really loads and loads of stuff that you can do it just is a really powerful software to uh, to generate uh, human voices through text so that's a really handy thing to have let's have a look so we've got the menus so there's not really that much you can click on, on the left but on the right we've got these four pieces of information so we've got voices generated available voices characters used and uh, unique voices used so the voices generated is basically how many voices that you've used to generate uh, text to voice okay that is very simple and then total available voices how many voices have you actually got in your library that you can use and mix it up well you've got 60 then you've also got uh, how many characters have actually been used and you can see I've already started using it and I've got over 9,000 characters which actually isn't that much when it comes to this sort of thing but I only create a uh, snippet niche YouTube channels so uh, anyway, 9,000 characters, you know, uh, hopefully by the end of the month, this will be well over 500,000, but we'll see. And then two unique voices used. So I've only, I've only been using two uh, voices, one British one and one American one. It depends on the project I've been uh, working on at the time. But, you know, you already saw uh, how to use it. You basically saw at the very beginning of the video how I use this software. And you simply paste in your text there. And by the way, it can be, uh, you can paste it over and over and over. It really doesn't matter. But you paste the software in. Uh, let me go ahead and just move my camera. So you can see we've got it there. And it tells you how many characters it is and how many words you've got just in the bottom left and right, which is actually really nice to have. Uh, it helps you meet targets and stuff like that. Um, and all it really is, is you can add pause. So at the moment it's in the AI voice. And what the AI voice does is it automatically emphasizes words and automatically gives uh, the breathing sound that you heard before um you know without you so that's always really good then you've also got the ai tone how do you want it to sound do you want it to sound just like a normal and neutral voice or do you want it to sound really happy and friendly and you know or you want it really serious um you know it really depends on the genre of the video you're creating uh, and the message that you want to give but you've got those options of you know uh, adding humanity to the voice um, so that's a really nice touch. And then you've got on the side, Rosie, Owen, and then Ellie, Chloe, and all of these things. And you've got the option of numerous different languages. I mean, that is just a game changer, especially if you do create YouTube niche channels and you're targeting different countries. That is a big win. That is really very exciting. Um, and I can't wait to start really digging into that and uh, doing something that I've been wanting to do for quite some while. I'm gonna be doing it. So I'm just gonna quickly change to English British and I'm gonna go to author and I'm gonna keep it in the standard mode um, because I actually like having full control over things 
uh, I can do. So you can see it's standard and you get these options here. So you've got add breathing, emphasize words and adjust speech. So what does add breathing actually do? Well, <sighs> that 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 is what you're putting into the video so it actually sounds like a human is talking and they're taking breaks um i don't know if you've ever used other other uh, text-to-speech softwares but you will know that if you have that getting it to pause and to breathe and stuff like that is basically n not really possible unless you're willing to upload your yourself doing it which even then causes complications so the fact that you can actually add breathing into this just by uh, clicking the area you want it and then clicking add breathing boom you've now got breathing and you can add that in as many times as you want or if you really want to emphasize something so for example uh, i want to emphasize how to and I'll highlight it and boom, there you go. So the emphasis starts at how to and it ends after to. And then boom, it goes back to normal. And if you want to add a pause, hello, add pause. How many seconds you want to add that pause? Which is crazy because now you can really, really get into making the voice sound even more human because that is a really big issue when you're doing these sort of things is the fact that there's lack of pauses and lack, lack of expressions uh, expression tone in the actual text that it just doesn't always sound realistic but now it can do especially when you start adding in a little bit of background music it just becomes you know human like and that's exactly what you want um it doesn't annoy people okay so let's just have a look and uh go over to languages let's do it to dutch for example and you can see uh, it now comes up with two different dutch names and standard and an ai voice but the ai voice does not work with every single language so you'll have to go through each one and see uh, my guess is that it probably um no oh, cancel is that it probably works with the more english and more tier one sort of uh, countries rather than like places like Nigeria etc etc but really all you really need to do is let's just go into this okay so you come here we paste the text in uh, and let's go over to AI yes switch engine so now I'm just gonna paste that okay cool so I know that I want an English British accent called author and then boom okay so now if i click generate voiceover lightning fast it's been done cool let's scroll down and now you can see you've got a all your downloads here which you can either sort by date download um audio preview but if you click on the three icons it deletes it if you click on download it will download it in mp3 format and if you press play it opens up this little uh, dialog box and then you can press play uh, with the timeline and you can do you can just control it like that and apart from that there's not really much more that we can talk about with this See, everything is um you know tracked and monitored so you can keep track of everything that that's really it that's really speech low you know all you need to do is enter your text here you know if you want to add breathing click add breathing if you want to highlight a word and emphasize it just highlight it and click emphasize words if you want to adjust a speech you know you can this is where you know, ai is this is where things get really exciting because you can simply if you want to make a certain word let me just highlight this adjust that if you want to make it sound louder you know slower you know in how fast they're talking you know or even heighten the pitch and what's not you can do that just by there and you can see it starts here start speech and then ends after speech low and the, the the possibilities with this is absolutely endless and the beauty of it is that it it works okay so it's not another tool saying it's going to do a million and one things it does what it says and the fact that you can now control how fast or how slow and add breathing and stuff like that really makes this text more human like anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any questions whatsoever go ahead and leave a link in the description below i'm also going to leave leave you with two presents the first one is a discount link to this software saving you quite a substantial amount of money and the second one is going to be a link to my website which is going to show you 
all of the bonus courses and all sorts of things you will get when you use my link to purchase this software. So I hope you enjoyed this speech low review. If you've got any questions, uh, go ahead and comment them again below. But give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.